guys uh, welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be my january favorites for 2022 i'm gonna make sure i keep up with this all year round because these are one of my favorite things to do and i know i don't keep up with it as much as i want to but i used to love filming these um so this video is very chaotic so i hope you're ready grab a drink and let's get started okay first and foremost I just want to say that I cut my hair my last video that I posted which was that get ready with me I literally cut my hair right after it and yes I cut it myself because honestly it's not worth spending $60 to get a little haircut when I can do it myself and I'm really I really like it um, I really like the length that I cut it at it is pretty short but I'm hoping my hair will grow back fast We'll see though, but yeah, so. Okay, so I have my cat sleeping in the background um, while well, he's awake now, but I just want to show him. Like I said, this video is very chaotic, so I hope you guys enjoy. First, we're gonna start off with makeup like I always do. I like to start off with makeup, that way I can get that out of the way. I have a lot of makeup and I don't wear much, but I'm starting to wear more makeup again. So I'm just gonna share with you what my favorite makeup is that I'm wearing as of this month, so. First, I'm going to start off with concealer, and this is the Oma Beauty Woke Concealer. This, this concealer is so creamy. It's medium to full coverage. I can get away with putting just a little bit on, and it's really nice. It covers up my dark circles. I'm not wearing any today because I am going to the gym in a little bit, but when I do wear this, this is beautiful. It's so creamy. It does not crease on me. It looks really nice, and it's just a really good concealer. Um, this is the one I got is in Fair Lady T3. They have a really good color shade range So I highly recommend that this concealer I've had it for a while since like last summer and I'm just now getting around to using it So I will have everything linked in the description down below so you can just go straight to the links and purchase whatever you want um, I don't make any commission from any, any of these links So because my channel is still so small, I don't get any like magic links or anything. I don't make anything from Lynx, which sucks. Hopefully one day. The, the blush that I am loving this month is the e.l.f. Um, bite-sized blushes. Now you guys know I love the Spiced Apple blush and it's the orange one, but I'm so pale right now that the orange does not look good on me. So I picked up this one in Liche and it's just a pinkier shade. It is so pretty. It looks a little orange on camera, but I'm telling you guys, it's really not. It's so pink and really pretty, and I really like it. And the good thing about this is that you can layer this blush, and it just, you can't mess up with it. And I think it's about 3 to $4, which is really nice if you guys don't want to spend a lot of money on makeup. So, I love that. Okay, so I have been loving this mascara. This is my second tube of it. I have two more if that's saying anything. Um, this is the Maybelline Colossal Mascara. I did not like the packaging in the beginning, but something about this mascara just gives me eyelashes. I don't have any eyelashes, but with this mascara, I do, and I really like it. There's only one thing I don't like about this, though, is that it, it is very wet in the beginning, so it takes about a week or two for it to dry out, but it is so great. This is almost gone, so I do have another one that I'm using, but I really love this mascara. Next, okay, you guys, I am back on my e.l.f. blush. I love this. It is still a little too orange because I am so pale, but a little bit goes a long way with me, and I just can't wait to put more use to this. Like, look how orange it is for me right now, but this is really pretty for me in the summer. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to get my use out of this, and I really like it. This is the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blush, and this is in the first shade, I believe, which is Sunkissed something. Forever Sunkissed, and it's really pretty, and I think it's about $6 in everyone's price range, and it's really nice. Very blendable. It's so creamy, and I really like this one. I just changed the direction because I need to use the natural light for my benefit because I don't have any makeup on besides mascara. Okay, where was I? This, this this moisturizer. This is the CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. This is for normal to dry skin. I use this every day. This is just a basic light moisturizer. For those of you that are really sensitive to putting thin creams on your face, I highly recommend this. My skin is so um, sensitive. Um, like anytime I touch it, it gets red. It's bad. But this Moisturizer has helped me every single day I put on after I get out of the shower in the mornings 
whenever I feel like I need it. I put it on my face and my neck and everywhere else. It's really great and I just, I can't say enough good things about this. This is raving on TikTok, but I've been using this for like two, two years now, I think, and I really like it. I had to pick up another one because once I ran out of the first one, I just kept like craving it for so bad, so long, so finally pick up another one and I highly recommend this next let's go on to random things sorry I keep messing with my necklace I have not worn this in so long and now I'm just like I want to play with it <laughs> now that I'm wearing it so one thing that I've been living on ever since Christmas is the this polar extreme knitted hat I don't know where I got it I got it for Christmas from my grandma and my siblings um, I'll try to find a link for it and see what other colors they have they have a decent amount of colors um, and it's really cozy like on the inside it is insulated like look at that fuzzy oh I love it this literally saved my life when I was sick and I just I love this hat so much next we're gonna talk about coffee and drinks and whatnot so over December and January I have stopped drinking as much coffee I'm trying to, I'm getting back into the gym so I'm trying to cut off some caffeine in the mornings when i have to go to work at 6 a.m i make hot cocoa and this is really good this is the swiss miss original just hot chocolate this is in a new huge canister i got this from menard so i'm pretty sure they have it like at any stock store they probably have it like walmart anywhere um but this is just a big canister it has 38.27 ounces and it makes 31 servings honestly i've made about like 20 cups and i still have like a third of this canister left i definitely can see more servings out of this but this is really great and i have been loving this because it has just enough caffeine to get me up and get me going in the day so that when i get home i can actually make my coffee um another coffee you guys i am just been obsessed with the duncan ground coffee i don't know what it is i don't have a duncan near me um but when i do like travel i try duncan at least one time and i don't like any other stuff but for some reason this duncan ground coffee is so good to me i can't explain it i do have the k-cups um, and then my sister Hillary got this for me for Christmas. So thank you so much Hillary. And I, j I just love this brand. I'm loving this brand so much right now. And I think I want to make another cup right now. Just looking at it because it is so good. Mmm, it just smells great. And I don't know, you guys, this is just perfect. Next on the drink list is my Starbucks tumbler. I picked this up last year. You guys, I have been looking for this all year when I was looking for it because it was sold out during quarantine, during the whole COVID quarantine thing. This came out and I could not find it for the whole year. Then I found someone selling it on Etsy, so I purchased it for more than it sells in stores. I literally paid $50 for this. Probably shouldn't have, but I did. Um, so this was a gift to me from me i don't remember what month but it was for like some holiday i got bought it for myself and i love this for water it comes with a black straw i can't find my black straw so i'm using one of my green straws which is really weird but um yeah i absolutely love it it's just a black studded now my starbucks has it but like the whole year i was looking for it my starbucks did not have it which was really annoying but they have it now so um I highly recommend these tumblers they're really nice for you to get your water intake and they're just really cute and it just helps you stay motivated to drink your water or whatever juicer you have okay so next we are going to talk about books and planners so uh recently i've been getting into anime i've watched a few netflix animes um don't really know how i feel about them yet but i am loving romance anime I did not know they had romance anime which is really stupid of me to not know but they do and i found a series that i really like and i want to get all the books right now i have five of them and it is called happy marriage i don't even know how to pronounce it but i'm gonna just show you right here so i'm really loving this series it's a little um young adult I wish it was a little more adult version, but mm, you know what? Maybe I can find another anime that's more adult, but I really like it. It's kind of cheesy and really cute, and it's really nice to read a quick book like this, you know, just to get yourself out of a reading slump. So recommend this 
anime series for any girls or women that want to get into anime or like start reading anime but would rather start with romance you guys know me i'm a planner addict i literally have one on the way from erin condren i probably should not have bought it but it was on sale so i had to but this is my newest planner for 2022 this is by passion planner i found this on instagram and i literally keep seeing passion planner i just watch people how they decorate and everything and i decided to pick it up um i got this during a sale and this planner is huge like it's literally the size of my head so that means my head is huge oh my god um anyways i got little pretty tabs to go with it which you do need when you get this planner because um they don't have tabs so definitely find definitely pick up some tabs from this brand when you get this planner or i mean if you can find anywhere else that has little mini tabs to put on do that because they come in handy basically this is a planner with a lot of things and the part that i love about it is that the weekly plan is just a hourly spread and i really like that it's really nice to read what i'm doing each hour and everything and then they have this empty space where you can just doodle and whatnot so basically i just put like my goals for the week or for the days and then there's little to-do lists right here and then this is just like a personal to-do list and this is a work to-do list so that's really nice and obviously you get your monthly spread as well i really suck at decorating you guys i'm not creative at all so i do basic highlighting doodles so that's okay um it also has like a reflection and it has a bunch of work stuff that you can do to like dream big and plan at it and like break it down it has a bunch of cool things this is like a your passion roadmap so it's like make a wish list of what you want to plan to do and then on the at the back of the planner it has like a monthly reflection a yearly reflection um which i need to do soon and then you have a bunch of white plain pages so you can just like doodle or whatever you need to do and then behind that it literally has dotted pages a bunch of dotted pages you can't even see because it's white um but you guys i'm really loving it for those of you that are like want it to get into bu budget journaling no bullet bullet journaling but don't know where to start um this planner is really great because it gives you a chance to start bullet journaling and start at your own pace and not have to buy a huge bullet journal and just like waste it away um so this is what i started with my little bullet journal in the back this is the books i've read in 2022 as of right now i have four books um one that i'm currently reading right here and then this is like movies that i'm rated that i've seen in january and this is just me writing out my books and how many stars i've done how i rate them and so each month i'm just going to continue to do that and it's gonna be really cool to see at the end of the year so and hopefully next year i will actually find a bullet journal a bullet journal that i like and get started but that was really long i am loving this passion planner um it's really nice i wish i was getting sponsored but i'm free advertising for passion planner love you <laughs> um okay so last but not least i am playing my switch again so i y'all know the journey i went on for getting a switch the game that i've been loving playing on this right now is zelda breath of the wild I did not think I would be that person to play Zelda. When it was on GameCube, we had it, but I didn't really understand how to play. Even though I do go to YouTube to watch walkthroughs on how to do something because I am getting a little lost on what to do, um, but it's really fun and yeah, that's all I can say, it's fun. I like it, I'm enjoying it. Pick the game up, it's definitely worth it. I like it a lot. So I have one more clothing item that I forgot to show you guys. I made a purchase on Black Friday from Gymshark and I bought a couple pieces. I will be having a closing haul. I just have not gotten up to film it. But one thing I want to show you guys, I have been loving this 
hoodie this is the this is a very oversized hoodie from gymshark this is a medium so and it is a very huge on me i wore this for like a week straight and it's so comfy so soft i want to pick up another one they have a bunch of colors so i'm definitely going to pick up a few more um but i'm loving this sweater from gymshark i could literally live in these i could live in these especially with winter right now i really have to dig my car out today before i go to work so that's fun um but i could live in this because it is so soft um and i'm just loving it so all right guys that is gonna be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed let me know what things you are you have been loving over the month of january because i love to chat with you guys and leave me a comment down below everything will be linked in the description and i will see you in my next video Bye.